with Chief Meteorologist Michael Coates. Some weak passing snow and rain showers just picking up a trace in most locations and getting a few snow showers and flurries into the mountains. This is what it looks like on the Driggs side of the Tetons. Looking back towards the mountains here, you can see those dark clouds dropping a little bit of some snow. And we're working on this moisture as we go through tonight. And it's thanks to this unsettled pattern. There's a break in the weather for Friday, and then there's a pretty decent sized storm out here in the Gulf of Alaska that's going to start coming down out of the Northwest heading into your Easter weekend. Yes, that's the weekend special coming through. Let's go over to Viper Radar as I zoom it a little bit closer in. Here's those passing rain and snow showers right now with the bulk of the snow and rain again favoring those mountain locations and those westward facing slopes. We'll see a little bit more of this rain and snow scattered throughout the region tonight. Not much. I'm not counting on a lot of rain and snow as I now take you over to the Viper Cast computer models. We'll start you off at 10 o'clock tonight. A little bit of some light rain and snow in around central Idaho. A little bit of some lingering pockets of flurries as you get into far eastern Idaho into western Wyoming. Tomorrow morning, stopping the clock at around 7 a.m., you're looking at fairly sunny conditions to get your Thursday started with some clouds once again blowing in here. And it's just really the leftovers of the cold front just kind of spinning around here, not really getting a major storm. It's just more of a disturbance here for tomorrow. You look at 5 o'clock, you're looking at a little bit of some snow around the Tetons, Wyoming border there with Idaho. Also some spotty snow showers across the Snake Highlands and in through central Idaho. Friday, things look pretty quiet and the winds will back off to light levels with warmer temperatures. Now we get into Saturday. Saturday morning for the egg hunts, many areas are having around Idaho and Wyoming. We're looking at decent conditions to get the day started. But by the afternoon and evening hours getting through Sunday, we're going to build in more cloud cover, more wind just in time for your Easter Sunday. So chilly temperatures still raining through here for tomorrow with temperatures below average, scattered rain and snow and those showers coming in for Easter with lows falling back into the 20s tonight and highs into the 40s. We're going to get into the 46 mark for Idaho Falls. Same for Pocatello. And we'll carry the mid-40s out through Arco in the site. Hitting the mid-40s for Chalice and Salmon. Temperatures overnight below freezing into the 20s. Also seeing the 20s tonight for Rexburg with a high of 46. 40 for Jackson, low of 21 in Ashton with a high of 42. And in the southeastern highlands here, 44 for Lava Hot Springs, lower to mid-40s as you get around Soda Springs and Bear Lake. Eight-day forecast moving forward. You're going to see temperatures pushing into the 50s for Friday. That's our break. Then we warm up to around 60 degrees on Saturday. There's that second system. That's that Gulf of Alaska storm I just showed you on the satellite loop. That's swinging in here for Saturday night through Sunday and Monday. We're going to carry the winds to getting into next week. Temperatures dropping back into the 50s there for Sunday and Monday. And then we're recovering our temperatures at the end of the eight-day forecast back into the 60s, pushing towards next weekend. Pocatello 54 for Friday and then this weekend in the Gate City. About a 61 for Saturday afternoon, 54 on Sunday with some scattered showers here on Easter Sunday. Rexburg looking at temperatures taking a hit into Sunday as well. We go from 60 degrees on Saturday down to the lower 50s on Sunday. Blackfoot looking at the dropping temperatures as well for this holiday weekend. Mid 40s tomorrow, mid 50s on Friday, warming to the 60s on Saturday. So a brief little warming trend there with dropping temperatures into Monday. Salmon, you have a bit of some rain and snow with us for tonight and tomorrow, just about a 40% risk, not a huge chance. Saturday and Sunday, slight to moderate risk for some rain and snow this Saturday and Sunday, and more spotty showers throughout next week. We're also going to see temperatures here pushing into Jackson throughout next week with highs into the 40s and 50s on Friday and Saturday, 40s into next week. A little bit of some snow, but nothing major. So we really have to take a whole week to get back to these warmer temperatures we've been experiencing. And it's very typical of spring. You ride a roller coaster, you go up and down. It happens quite often, especially now that we're getting into April. Yeah. This is par for the course. Okay, thank you, Michael. Well, still ahead. It's not exactly Jaws, but this shark...